back to our channel. Today we are taking both of the kids out for the first time, number one, which should be an adventure. And number two, we have actually two appointments that we have to go to today. The first one that we're going to is my OB appointment. We're checking on my incision and I have a few things that I want to talk to her about. And then after that, we are going to get Hazel's tongue tie fixed and I am really happy that we're getting it fixed. I'm dreading it a lot, but I'm happy that it's gonna be fixed before Garrett goes back to work because I couldn't imagine going to that appointment by myself. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And today is Garrick's last day at home. Tomorrow he goes back to work, which is so sad. I hate it, I'm so sad. Okay, so we are at our first destination, destination, with both of the kids for the first time. I have Hazel, Garrick has Wilder. Good boy. Good. You good. Right here. Push that one. One more time. Push it. Push it. Good boy. He did it. He likes to push the buttons. He did it, dude. <laughs> He's so crazy. He's sitting in Sissy's chair. Where's Sissy? He doesn't care. <laughs> He's not here. Maybe she's over here. She can share. Okay, so we had to leave that appointment because, you okay girly? <laughs> because um, they were taking it way too long. It wasn't their fault. My doctor had like an emergency come up, but we couldn't wait for the appointment or we couldn't wait any longer because we have to go to Hazel's appointment, which is really important. So we rescheduled, which really kind of sucks because I had a lot of things that I wanted to talk to her about, but whatever, hopefully, I'll be able to get in next week, but that does kind of suck because Garrick has to go back to work and then I'll have to go alone. But besides the point, Garrick is getting food right now from this place called the Donut Hole, which is really, really good. But yeah, we're on the way to Hazel's appointment and I'm getting really anxious and nervous. I know it's not, so what I've been told, it's not like that big of a deal, but still seeing your newborn or your baby in general in pain, like even the slightest, just really really sucks and tugs at my heart so I'm really not looking forward to this appointment but I know it's necessary this looks so good okay so we have arrived at Hazel's appointment I'm really dreading going in hopefully it'll be quick and fast Garrick's outside getting wilder some energy out <laughs> he's running around with him and I'm just dreading going in here but we gotta go, girly. Come on, this way. Got him. Let's see. Okay, so we just got out of Hazel's appointment and apparently she doesn't have a tongue tie, but she does have a lip tie, which I knew all along, but apparently they're saying that she doesn't have a tongue tie. They looked at Wilder while he was there also and apparently he has a lip tie as well, which is probably the reason why our breastfeeding journey didn't go too well with Wilder either. I literally had no idea when Wilder was born about a lip tie or a tongue tie. I didn't even know that those existed and could interfere with breastfeeding. So I just feel 
kind of awful about that that he has a lip tie that we never even knew about and they suggested that we get his lip tie fixed wilder's and hazel's fixed um and they would use like gas like a little gas mask to sedate them garrick and i still haven't done a lot of research on it so that's what we're gonna do as soon as we get home so we didn't book an appointment or anything to get that done just because that's just like a big decision to make thankfully she doesn't have a tongue tie but still it really does suck that we have to even be like contemplating her having surgery this young right now my thought process if anyone cares <laughs> is I'm going to go see a lactation consultant and we're going to try to see if we can work through the lip tie. I think that's why we've had a little bit of trouble thus far breastfeeding is because of her lip tie and if we can work around it then I'd rather not get it fixed but at the same time I need to weigh all the pros and the cons that I just haven't yet. So anyways I wanted to see a lactation consultant just to see where we could go from there and yeah that's what we're on excuse you girly yeah that's what we're on the way to do right now look at that double chin look at that milky face oh my goodness all right so we stopped to see the lactation consultant for zoe so that's where we're at now okay so let's um let's try to watch her lips when's last time she ate but it's not hurting you it is hurting. It's, it's not okay. as bad as it was. Okay, she still like pulls it tough enough a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, that, she's cluster feeding, so it's like she's feeding all the time. And right when she latches, oh my god, it hurts so bad. But to I, after like the tenth suck, I can deal with it. Okay. But it definitely is painful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we just got out of the lactation consultant's office, and I feel like I have a lot better latch now she showed me like a few different tricks i don't know i just feel a lot more confident about what i've been doing as far as latch wise and yeah i just feel a lot better and i'm gonna start pumping i was really nervous to like begin pumping or anything because i didn't want to go into an oversupply but i'm gonna start pumping once a day just so i can build up a supply in case i don't bring hazel to playlist live which, by the way, I am going to Playlist Live. So if you guys are going, comment below. I would love to know and meet up with you guys. I am just so excited to go. Um, I'm gonna be going with Cameron, Allie, and Yasmin. I'm just so excited to spend some time with them. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna be pumping one time a day just so I can stock up on milk in case I don't bring Hazel. Also, I am going wedding dress shopping with Cameron and so in case I don't bring her to that as well, I just want to have a supply for her at home in case Garrick watches her at home. Anyways, my point is I'm gonna start pumping once a day just to have that and she told me that I would not go into an oversupply if I just pumped once a day. So that made me feel a lot better too. I just feel a lot more confident overall, you know? You guys, Garrick goes back to work tomorrow and I'm just so in my feelings about it. I'm gonna miss him so much. What you doing, girly? What'd you get, babe? Can't tell you. Gotta wait. I just saw something pink. Yep. Oh my God. We're gonna go home and you can get a nap, okay? Wilder is so tired. Garrick is just ran into the store to grab some shampoo, body wash. I, I don't even know, but he's in the store right now. And then we are going home. All right, guys, so we just got home. Just put Wilder down for a nap. I'm about to start picking up the house a little bit because I go back to work tomorrow. So I want all the mess cleaned for Zoe tomorrow. She's going to do some editing so y'all can watch a video. When is that going up? What's today? Today. Yeah. We got a VEP, babe? It's a VEP. You got to vlog at a post. <laughs> All right. So, that's what's about to happen. So, let me let her say something to you. Both the babies are sleeping. So, like I got... <laughs> so, like I told you guys in the car, Garrick was in the store getting, like, soap or something. And, of course, he comes out with a bunch of pink stuff. So, what did you get, babe? I don't know. I just threw it at you. I made a mistake. <laughs> he made a mistake. He got this vase, which is fine, but he put these flowers. Well, honestly, these flowers looked white in the store. It, they were in a big 
ball. It was everything was red. You're colorblind. He got these flowers with this vase, which is just a little gaudy, but <laughs> my bad. It's okay. We cannot find socks in her size. She got pink socks. Okay. And I got her more room decor. Mm -hmm. This is really cute. Bathroom towel, maybe. Maybe. That's just I don't know. He literally can't go to a store without getting pink stuff. What a like, decor. You're a mess. I'm going to install it all. <laughs> I think it's so sweet. Nice. <gasps> At least the glass didn't break. That is pretty much all for today's video. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we will see you Monday.